All right, so this is an example of another example of a um, non-inertial reference frame. We looked at an elevator that was accelerating, um, and uh, we didn't write the uh, Newtonian equations uh, inside the reference frame for the elevator. We wrote it outside. We'll do the same thing here. So we won't, we can't write the um, Newton's equations um, with the reference frame being this truck which is accelerating to the right. Um, that would be a non-inertial reference frame. Um, Newton's laws are only valid in an inertial reference frame. So we're going to stand outside the truck um, on the sidewalk and, and, and write it from the standpoint of the reference frame attached to the sidewalk. But the general scenario is this. We have a truck that's accelerating to the right. It has some cargo um, on the back. That's this dot. Um, and there's some friction acting between the um, cargo uh, bed of the truck and the object. Um, and the question is, um, how great can the acceleration be and, um, before... Uh, this object in the cargo bed uh, starts sliding uh, relative to the bed of the truck. And of course, that's going to depend upon the friction acting between the two. Um, all right, so uh, again, in the um, reference frame uh, of the sidewalk, not of the truck, uh, we're going to do a, a force diagram here, and there's three forces acting on this mass right here. This is a little m. It's not labeled such, but this is a little m. This is also a little m. There is a downward gravitational force um, of the Earth acting on the mass on little m, and there's an upward normal force. And then, um, well, the this um, is accelerating along with the truck. Um, we're we're going to assume that it's not slipping, and then push the envelope. As, as much as we can, you'll see how. So um, the only force that could be uh, propelling this little m to the right is the, the frictional force, um, um, and it's a static frictional force because it hasn't started to slip yet, and it's the maximum value of that frictional force. So that this is the key to finding what the maximum acceleration is. So let's write a y direction and x direction uh, Newton number two, and, and the y direction is, well, the same old thing. Uh, we conclude the magnitude of the normal force is mg. Um, in the x direction, the maximum frictional force, uh, we're going to set that equal to m times a sub x. And, uh, and here's the uh, key that un un unopens the lock here. The maximum frictional force is... <clears throat> Um, I really want to do this again, but I'm going to include it here. Mu sub s, not mu sub k, times times the normal force. Okay, so the maximum frictional force is, is possible, static frictional force is, is mu sub s. There's a typo here. So, um, remember when we talked about friction that we said if you, if, that there was a maximum frictional force beyond which the object would start to slide. Well, that maximum frictional force, mu sub s times n, mu sub s times mg, is what's going to make a sub x the biggest. Look at this equation here in the x direction. So if we solve this for a sub x, it's simply going to be the maximum frictional force divided by m, which is mu sub s times mg divided by m. So here I put the proper subscript in. Um, the M's cancel. This is independent of the um, mass of the cargo. Mass of the truck isn't in here. Is not in here, incidentally. Uh, which is the mu sub s coefficient of static friction times g, independent of M. So um, the problem um, allows us to pick a mu sub s equal to 0 0.4, and 0 0.4 times 9.8 gives us a um, a 3.9 to 2 sig figs maximum um, acceleration to the right. Uh, beyond that, we will exceed the maximum frictional force that static friction can um, provide, and uh, the um, little m will then begin to slip relative to the 
cargo bed.